Hi, I'm Streaky, this is Streaky Mastering, and today I'm going to tell you what you shouldn't do with your near field monitors. So I've got these PSI monitors here. Now, the way that your monitors will always sound bad is if you don't isolate them from your desk or from your stand. Now I see a lot in a lot of people's studios, they buy nice speakers, but then they just leave them sitting on the top. And what happens is, it will just resonate through the desk and you can actually hear the sound of the desk as part of the speaker, because the speaker obviously becomes part of this. Um, so what you need to do is isolate it some way. Now, the cheapest way to do that is, the, which is kind of about as good as egg boxes on the walls, but cutting squash balls in half and putting them underneath, which obviously I'm not going to do, but I have done that in the past. You can then get, um, if that's not right, then the next sort of level up is you've probably seen the foam, bits of foam you can put underneath that come up at the front. They're okay. I mean, they're, they're going to isolate it, which is good but they're not going to, um, what you're really wanting is to stick it so that it's in mid-air like that, so there's no resonance and the speaker's just performing the best it can. But obviously you can't do that, so you need to have something under it that's going to work well. Now, okay, so first stage is just squash balls cut in half. Next stage up is foam. Then you get onto this which is, I've said in other videos, which is an ISO acoustic stand, which are brilliant, they sound great. They isolate your speaker from, from your surface really well. You can also have them at different heights, which is really handy if you've got high stands and you wanna angle them up or you wanna keep them low like this. So these are really good, they're about 100 pounds a pair. Uh, so this is the next stage up from foam, I would, I would say. And then we start getting on to things which sound even better than this. And these are kind of newish to the market, but they're, these are by ISO Acoustic as well. And these are like called their pucks. And they're just, foam, they're, they're rubber and they've got, I think you can see they squeeze in a bit. And these, these are their latest sort of things to isolate the speaker and they, work better than this and they're really tight and nice and they just clean up clean up the low end uh, more than these ones do and then I've been using these ones which are similar to the pucks and these ones are by DMSD now they've got in a similar way to the puck they've got something in the middle but it doesn't squeeze it's, if you can see, it's like four bands of sort of green, it's the green isolation. This is really technical, isn't it? Um, but basically, these ones are the daddy, I think, of all isolation. And so I've been using these, and these, they're very close to these, but not, not as, but they're, they're better. These are better than these. These are really good these are better these are quite expensive they're about 600 pounds for to do two speakers but um they for some reason they they these speakers are amazing sounding speakers and these add about another 500 pounds to them not just in price but in quality they take away any smearing this when i've got these on i thought these sounded great and then i put these on and it takes away smearing in the mids and there's like a and then the difference between this one and this one was there was some extra um, sharpness and punch to the whole sound, especially in the low mids. And the low mids and the low end is really important, especially for, for near fields. So the mid range was just sounded so tight and, and, and quick. That would be the word I'd use. It was a very quick, punchy sound on this. And when I had these... The way I was testing as well was putting these on one and then testing with the other and flicking between. And and so these ones came out best. These are a very, very close second. Very close. Um, and then these are a third. So these are great. If you can afford it, get these. If you can really afford it, you need these. Uh, well, that's it. But whatever you're doing, 
squash balls are better than just having your speaker sitting like that. Your speaker will never sound good sitting just on your desk like that. And if you don't believe me, buy some of these, buy that, uh, stick some squash balls under and you'll soon see the difference. So try it out for yourself, but don't ever do that. Thanks for watching. Until next time, please subscribe. Please leave any comments below if you've got any questions or if you've got any other ones like this or other things you've done to isolate your speaker, let me know. I'm always interested to hear tips and tricks so I can pass them on to other people and try them out myself. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.